so I mean they were all good shots so you can't we tell them to shoot every single time so um, it's gonna fall eventually so did you think he handled it all right yeah I mean he, he was still locked in defensively he didn't let it carry over to the defensive end but um, yeah Offensively, you guys just weren't quite clicking like you had in the first two games. I guess, can you speak to maybe what wasn't working or the reason for that? I um, just didn't take care of the ball that well. Um, I don't know how many turnovers we had, but we had to have a lot. Um, I mean, they switched a lot of, they would switch one through four. Um, it's the first time we saw that. Um, so just finding different sets that are going to work through switching um, and executing those plays. You guys missed your first 11 threes. I think you ended it. Is there a concern there? Is it just one of those nights? I think it's just one of those nights the ball just didn't go in. I think, I mean, if you hold someone to 68 points in a game, um, I mean, hopefully you're going to win that game a lot of times. But um, we just didn't do a good job of uh, valuing the basketball. Eli, Hunter kind of went quiet down the stretch. Um, what, do you, what were they doing to take him away? And what do you guys have to do going forward to prevent that from happening? Um, I mean, they were front and post. We gotta flash someone to the middle so we can get the high and low. Um, I think that's just something that's gonna take time. Uh, find that connection between the four and the five. Yeah, there was a four and a half minute scoring drought for you guys in the first half. You were the one who ended it with going back to back jumpers from the free throw line. Do you feel like guys look to you when the offense gets a little bit of a rut? Um, I mean, the ball finds energy. Um, that's what some coach always says, and. Um, I mean, we share the game, and a lot of people are going to get a lot of good looks. Um, I mean, yeah. I feel like defense let you guys down a little bit in the second half, and they get some looks off the bounce. Yeah, we just need to we need to communicate a little better on the switches. Um, that's also getting to know one another. Um, so, yeah. What is the message to you guys? Um, we're going to learn from this. We're going we're gonna to sit down and see how uh, we can fix these problems that uh, cost us the game. Where do you think this team's chemistry is right now? It seems like there are a lot of different lineups out there at any given time. Um, I think the chemistry is there. It's just about finding um, how people are going to move on the court, um, different scenarios that people haven't been in necessarily. Um, I mean... Throughout the season, you're gonna see a lot of different actions, and um, you can't you can't teach it all all in practice. You gotta experience it in game. So there's gonna be some uh, learning pain, um, but I mean you can't win the you can't win the Big Ten championship right now. So um, as long as we learn from this, we we take stuff away from this, we have a good chance of being a really really good team. You know, you're really able to slow the game down. Talk about the experience and everything that goes into slowing the game down? Um, I think just um, being in those different experiences. Like, um, I remember the first time that I was um, playing in front of Chrysler. I mean, it slowed down a lot because I've seen the different ball screen reads, different different things like that. So they want to be able to have those in-game experiences go a long way. And, and talk about the relationship you have with Hunter. You guys have such a good feel for one another when he wants to get you the ball, when you want to get him the ball. Talk about that feel and that timing that you two have together. Um, he's a high IQ basketball player and so am I. So um, just being able to find those little spots is just something that um, when you grow up playing the right way, um, you just have that connection already. How has the, the coaching staff helped influence what we've just been talking about, slowing down the game and the feel for the game? How, how did they inject that? You know? um, watching film, seeing those different experiences, um, different reads. Um, film goes a long way with a lot of young guys and being intentional with your film sessions. All right, thank you very much.